I know I've mentioned this in um, other videos and stuff, but the fact that um, the belt and the gearbox, it does honestly just give you carefree riding. Um, so today I've been doing a bit of single track and there's been some quite deep sand in places. And normally I'd be hitting that stuff and I'd be thinking, oh, my beautiful, nice, clean chain. Now I've got to uh, clean it again when I get back and I've just been hitting it with this bike today and I don't even have a thought of that. It's just like the messier, the dustier, the dirtier it is, the better. And that's why I love the Gates Carbon and Pinion gearbox. Um, it's just carefree, carefree riding. So we're going up this really steep, uh, I suppose you could call it single track, grassy single track and I'm in third gear and it's not a problem. Still got two more gears to go. This is the P18 gearbox and yep, yeah, cruising nicely. Gonna move sheep? Uh -oh. oh, I didn't mean to move you. Since you got these wheels and tires on this bike, I love this bike anyway. But it is absolutely chuffing ace now. Absolutely chuffing ace. Flies so comfy. Still two more gears left and this is a doddle. So some um, negative things they say about the, the gearbox, some people don't like twist shifter. I don't understand that argument at all. What can be more intuitive than shifting by twisting? In one direction for easy and one direction for hard. But if you are that way inclined, you can get trigger shifters for the gearbox. Just go to the SYNC website and they are there. Also have um, trigger shifters for roll off. And they also have grifters for both roll off and pinion for drop handlebars which I've got coming on my two terrain scrambler. So the shifter argument is non-existent anymore. Another thing that comes up is that you have to hold off a little bit of power when you shift. That's just normal. You should be doing that anyway. Although I know you can shift under load on a derailleur. I do it as well, it's best practice not to, that's when you're going to snap chains and stuff, um, so I don't really see that argument and shifting under load it's the same with um, the Brompton, uh, Stern E Archer, can't shift under load there, got to back off. Um, roll off got to back off so it's just getting used to it and it doesn't take long to get used to it um, the other argument is weight now Ashley at cycling about he did a comparison a proper comparison because people just when they're doing the weight comparison, they compare just the basic derailleur and stuff, but you've got to take into consideration 
that the gearbox replaces your bottom bracket as well and the weight difference especially with the 12-speed gearbox is tiny it's that tiny that if it concerns you just go to the toilet before you go on a ride honestly These 27.5 pluses, the ride is so much more forgiving and absorb, absorbing everything and you can just hit anything at full speed, it is ace. Just hit stuff like this at full blast and we're not worried about a sticky out rock that is going to catch the side of my derail, I'm not thinking about the line having to think about that extra bit of space I need on my drive side it's just a case of aim and go Look at that, it's just, it's just ace, it's just so tidy, so clean. Um, you don't need to worry about uh, getting it clogged up with crap. Um, and to me, that just transforms my ride, really, when I know I can just hit anything I want and I don't have to worry about um, getting my chain all dirty again after cleaning it. Um, don't worry about getting derailers snagged off and um, yeah it's just an awesome ride and these these wheels have transformed it actually um, stock 29 inch uh, wheels it had and you know there were nothing wrong with that but these carbon 27.5 pluses have just transformed it it's so confident uh, on it now just blasting through anything hitting anything and those uh, just feels feels like a different bike, which is not you know not saying that it was bad before. It's just feels. I really like the hardtail with the twenty seven point five plus. Just gives it a smoother ride. It's lovely. So there is one negative with the pinion gearbox at. Uh, Nobody sort of like mentions because it's the only negative I can find is and I've just had it at the top of the hill there some bikers came up and uh, they were reluctant to speak to me at first because they thought I was on an electric bike and I had to explain that it's a gearbox and they'd not heard of pinion which I find crazy considering it's been around for a while now quite a while 
and they'd not seen a belt before, they thought it was a weird chain. So I just spent uh, about 20 minutes educating them in the beauty of, of the gearbox and belt and how Tutoran have implemented the gearbox. So there's no sliding dropouts here which just keeps its back end absolutely gorgeous and clean and they have that bridge in there so you can um, put tension on the belt when you um, when you fit it. And on the scrambler, that's coming soon, it also means that uh, because there's no sliding dropouts, it means that they can put a nice clean um, flat mount disc mount on, on the back, which is ace. Yes.